Hey guys, um, I received that gumball, that Halloween gumball machine that I won from the best things um, from Michael from his Halloween giveaway. Before I get into that, um, I want to show you the Halloween card he also included with, with my uh, prize. It says Vigilance is our best defense and it has a picture of zombies on here. And it says, remember, zombies in bunches make humans their lunches. Avoid dangerous zombie packs. A notice from the Bureau of Zombie Affairs. I thought oh, that's pretty pretty cool. I, I don't think I've seen um, a card like this before. You don't see that many zombie Halloween cards. And then in the, in the middle it says, wishing you a safe and happy Halloween. It says, Liz, thanks for... Um, watching my channel and I don't want to tell you what it says the rest because I wanted to show you myself but on the bottom says PS put this card in a frame and you've got an easy decoration <laughs> yes Mike um, that's Michael that's a really good idea I think I just might do that I think I have like a, an extra frame laying around somewhere so thanks for the card and I save all my cards so this is this is gonna go in my in my collection of Halloween cards that I've been saving over the years Okay, now on to the prize package. <sighs> I'm sad to report that the gumball machine was broke and it wasn't just like broken like a little bit, it was like basically demolished. Um, not just the glass globe itself where the gumballs go in, but the whole gumball machine, the, the like um, bottom of it was broken into many pieces. Obviously the glass globe where the gumballs go in and I think part of the top but first I just want to show you that he decorated this box really cool. He put these, I think these are window clings, these spooky eyes on here, these green ones. I really like these green ones a lot. And then on the back, more eyes. And then these huge eyes on this side. And I thought that was really cool. Okay, and let me show you now what happened. So when I opened the box, all I saw was that the top of the gumball machine was cracked, like the lid of it. And then I'm like, oh god, if the lid is cracked, then I hope that the rest of it's not broke too, like the glass globe. And it was. So this is, I already took it out of the wrapping. And here's what it looks like inside. There's glass in there and pieces of the gumball machine. And those are the eyeballs, the ping pong eyeballs that were um, in the gumball machine. And there's oh, tons and tons of glass. Like I said, it's basically demolished. I don't know what um, UPS did. I don't know if they dropped it or they really manhandled it really bad. But I, I don't have no idea how it was broke so bad. Even the non-glass part was broken into many, many pieces. I mean, I don't know what the, what they did with it. Maybe they dropped it somewhere. I don't know. But here's what some of it looks like. Here's part of it over here. And another part over here. And then here's more pieces. And then here's even more pieces. And then also... Instead of the big pieces, it's also in, in some like fragments, like some little, really small pieces too, as you can see over here. The only thing that wasn't broke is the is the top of the lid with the skull on there. This was the only thing that wasn't broke, and I'll save that. Maybe I can use it for a craft or something, or maybe I can make like. Um, get like one of those glass globes that you bought from Michael's to make the gumball machine and maybe I can just put it like make a little candy dish out of it and put this as the as the lid use this as the lid as a top so yeah I couldn't believe that I, I thought maybe just I only think I was worried about was the glass globe itself because in Michael's video um, he made another gumball machine and he broke one of the glass globes that he got from Michael's and he said he had to go to Michael's and get another one so that was the only thing I really was um, you know scared that it might be broke but I didn't think the rest of the gumball machine would be broken especially not like this since there's so many parts and stuff maybe 
I like I would have a crack or something in it, but it's also over here in the box too. There's a lot of pieces over here in the box too. I'm gonna save these uh, ping pong gum, these eyeballs. I'm gonna save those too, along with that lid. And unfortunately, everything else, there's no way I could just crazy glue everything back on or say save any of it. So I'm so sorry, uh, Michael, because I know that. You spent a lot of time making these gumball machines, and not to mention the money that it cost you to make it for the supplies and to ship it. So I'm sure it might co probably might cost you even more to ship it than than actually to buy the glass bowl and and, su and the supplies to make it. So with both things combined, I'm sure it it, it would um it cost you a, a little bit. So yeah, I'm real. That's a real bummer. Like it says, it says in the box that it weighed five pounds. So I'm sure shipping was a pretty penny on that. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys, with you guys, anyways. Thanks, Michael, for trying to mail it out. It wasn't your fault. Everything was wrapped really well. I don't know what UPS did with it. It's basically like you just dropped it from like a ten-story window or something, and to, for it to be. Uh, broken this bad. Uh, thank you for the card. Okay, thank. Go check out uh, everyone. Check out Michael's channel. He he loves Halloween. He does a lot of DIYs, Halloween DIYs, and he goes um to th a lot of thrift stores uh, to to look for Halloween decorations. He does Halloween thrift store hauls and a lot of Halloween DIYs. So check out check out his channel. The name of his channel again is is the best things. And just tell them that Liz Horror fan um, sent you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.